So you're going to want to pay attention to this one because Big D is getting into hand planing and I go over certain techniques on how to use, use a hand plane. All right, so stay tuned and thank you for watching. Big day. What's up? What are you doing? A little hand plane. Okay, show, show me. <laughs> go through it. Yep. Okay. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm going to show you. You're right handed. Yes. Okay, so pick up the hand plane and show me how you're holding it. Oh, perfect. Everybody come in here and see this. Chris, see this. He's got four fingers in that toe. Look how big his hand is. Big D, take that finger and point. Okay. Okay. How's it feel a little bit better? Yeah. A little more okay, room in good. there. And your index finger is actually pointing in the direction you're going to run the hand plane. You don't have to have it up. You can have it down, but not in the toe. You've got okay. massive hands. Okay. That is one of the first things I was taught. If you point that index, index finger, even with a handsaw, and where I call it three fingers in the toe, index finger pointing forward. All right. So there's your first tip, how to hold it. Okay. Now grab the knob. Perfect. Sometimes you'll want to put your hand on top. Try that. Like this? Perfect. Okay. That's a good way to start doing it. Okay. Oh, because then it helps me keep my pressure. It's weighting and pressuring the hand plane huh. properly, and I'll go through that in a minute. Okay. Okay, show me how you're standing. <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun because this is a great tip. Um, remember when I showed you how to um, uh, lock your arms when you're with a hand yeah. plane blade? Yep. You're locked, right? With a hand plane, you'll be able to hand plane longer if you learn to rock your body. I know this is a short piece here, and this is what I will always tell everybody. Get a piece of pine. I know this is southern yellow pine. Up north, I use eastern white pine. But get a, a, a fairly soft wood. Southern yellow pine is kind of hard, but it's, it's a good wood to plane and practice on. And you're going to put some time hand planing a piece of flat. Okay. okay, and just keep taking, as I say, strokes with it, and you'll get better and better. I showed you how to set the blade in a previous video. Yep. Okay, so you're out here. Yep. That's awkward, man, because you're reaching. It's like using a router, remember I told you? Close to your body. You're right-handed like I am, okay? And you're gonna notice that I rock, and I kind of lock this arm in, see this? Got it? Oh. Got it? Now try that. All but right. stand in close proximity, lock your right arm in, and go. All right. You try. Here we go. Yep. Kind of big D? Yep. That blade is in the middle of the board. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got to get that proximity and rock. Okay. So. Yep. Good. Oh, oh you're all the way through. It's, it's okay. All right. You're learning. There you go. Big D. Start the blade forward. You forward. start. Look, look, look. You can see it. You're starting oh. here. And you're starting to get a divot. I'll go through pressure in a minute on the okay. hand plane. Yep. Just like the track yep. saw, right? Yep. Good. Okay. You'll want to get to the point you're picking it up. Going like this, watch. You're picking it up and bringing it back. Look. See? Because it's not cutting on the way back. Only cuts on the way forward. Exactly. Oh. Got there it? Go. Yep, I got okay, it. Okay, now, I'm going to add one more element. See that? It's a piece of wax. It makes it so much easier if you just go like this. Always have a piece of wax. Okay. Get right in here. Now, good. I'm locked in, right? Okay. My weight's here. Okay. When it gets to the end, my weight is here. Oh, okay. You will experience one of two things. If you don't properly weight the plane, you'll get chatter in the beginning, or you'll get, and you already see it, there's a slight divot here. We call it snipe. You remember we were supporting on the, on the, um, Thickness planer. I told you how to support the board. Right. You're 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 
those feed rollers were trying to bind down. Mm -hmm. Here, your weight's here in the beginning, okay? And then, I'm gonna try to do this properly, and then right here, the weight's off. Okay. Just Ooh. like that, watch. Now, do you notice I'm not cutting in certain areas, but look at that. Why is that? I think not tell. <laughs> <laughs> the board has slight undulations. In oh, okay. It. Okay. But, and then wait here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Look at that. You're getting better, my friend. Good hey, job. All right. All right. It only took me three years to learn to shave it's my face. Okay. So doing great came off again it's okay it's okay look at those shavings wow night and day big D look at that okay full shavings okay Not a good teacher you, you gotta you gotta <laughs> you got another uh, three quarters to go okay okay so when you first start off right this is your adjuster okay I had this set for us already, mm -hmm. but I forgot to tell you or teach you how to adjust that. So I'm gonna take that back and as I rotate it, I slightly go like this and I know I'm not gonna cut. Okay. Okay, this is how you hold it. And then what I'll do, and there's a little bit, as I turn it, there's a little bit of slop in there for the adjuster and I get it right here. I bring it down. See how I'm not cutting? I just go like this until I start to get a cut. Oh, there it is. And then I'm gonna back this off. See, look at that. Wow. Very thin. Okay. And it's just getting that rock going. That's all it is. See that? All in the hip. Yeah, and it's just, what we'll do in another video is I'll show you how to uh, joint on edge. We'll do another video. See that, feel that? There's no plane tracks. We'll do another video nice. where I'll show you how to do longer pieces. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back that off and I'm gonna have you feel that. But you know, that right away, three fingers in the tote and you can adjust it as you go. Oh, nice. So let's try that. Okay, so right now I feel nothing. Yeah, nothing, but you gotta, start the, you gotta start the blade forward of the board. Okay. So okay, yeah. Just. Yeah, and little increments just to test it. Okay, yeah. okay I can really start to feel the adjustment. Okay, but make sure you're weighting that front. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And this just comes with time, learning how to set these, setting the blade, learning proper technique, making sure you're clo yeah, close. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll tell you a funny story as you're adjusting it. Keep going. Um, I used to always forget which way pushes it forward and which way pulls it back. Then after a while, you just realize, okay, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna go down with it or up to back it off. But I always go ahead, keep going. Say, okay, I know you. Gotta be in close, right? Yeah, you gotta start the blade forward of the cut. Oh, oh, oh so now you're biting, you get you bit too much so off. You go back the other way. Yeah, but you're gonna know this slop in there because of the uh, precision gear. Oh, 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 and make sure you finish the cut. There you go, you're getting there. See how you, your weight, you dip. Because I'm not yeah. shifting. Yeah, you're not shifting that weight at the end to the back. There you go. Put a little more wax on there, like I did. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. You're getting it. Oops. Ooh. Say yep. It's okay. It's my hand plane. <laughs> but it's a nice one. Okay. So let's let's check progress here. And you're gonna see how nice that is, just like that. Okay. Now. What you can do is go a little bit more. Okay. But then you stand you stand the chance for tear out. We'll uh, in another video we'll go through grain direction like we did with the hand pull, with that okay. uh, thickness planer. But I think that's a good start. And like we always say at these videos, <laughs> be positive, stay sharp.